there, it's Beth from ScrappingWonders.com and I have an art journal in my Traveler's Notebook uh, for this YouTube hop for National Scrapbooking Day 2017. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's already May. Anyways, Becky Adams put this wonderful hop together and I'm so excited to be a part of it and I feel so honored to be with these wonderful, wonderful ladies and providing my small little hop video for you. So what I did here is I used a napkin to collage my background. I had some background paint uh, that I had brayered on from a previous project and I am now collaging on this beautiful napkin. And truly, I think this napkin is so gorgeous that I could have called it done right here, right now, you know. But I didn't, I went and added more. And that's what art journaling is all about. It's all about the layers, right? So I used Liquitex Matte Medium and I used the fluid kind. I prefer the fluid kind for collaging napkins and tissue paper, just because those products are so thin to begin with that I find that I have an easier time spreading on the fluid matte medium in order to get it on. You could also use Mod Podge um, because it, it's fluid enough as well, but I find that regular matte medium, like the gel kind, uh, is really rough on the napkins and also on um, tissue paper. So that's why I use that. And my favorite thing about using napkins in my art journal is that they disappear away into the page. It's just so amazing and then you're left with this gorgeousness so here I'm putting a layer of clear gesso on I happen to grab my Dina Wakely clear gesso just because it's what I had available at the moment and I end up putting two layers on just to make sure it's fully fully gessoed and ready for whatever my plans were because at this point I still had no plans I had no idea what I was going to do and then I'm just trimming off the edges here on all sides, as you can see. And um, what do you call it? I lost my train of thought. I apologize. It's late and I don't usually do that. Um, the paper was still damp. I had previously done this art journal layout and it was still damp and it leaked through a little bit uh, the moisture. So then my pages got stuck together. So you saw me just adding some paint uh, marker to those. Then I grabbed some white acrylic paint and I'm going to use this as an actual journal spot. I don't usually journal a whole lot in my art, my art journal pages, which is weird because it's art and it, you're supposed to be journaling. Um, but for this one, I did want to journal. So I whited out some space to journal on with uh, golden heavy body white acrylic paint, which I, after a year now, I am actually running super low and think it's time to bite the bullet and buy some more white paint. This is my favorite white paint to use. It's titanium white, um, which just is, I don't know, there's different whites, just like there's different blacks. Um, but I, I like the titanium white and it's time for me to buy some more. The best thing about paint is that it doesn't seem to go bad. Like I've had this paint for a little over a year, I would say, and it's it works fine, it's perfect. So I use some Fabri-Tac glue to glue down this frame, uh, which is from Wilna Furstenberg, and I love um, these owls. So I have a bunch printed out. I use the, uh, excuse, I'm so, so sorry. Excuse my yawning. I used um, the print and cut feature on my Cricut to print and cut a bunch out at one time just because it's such a long process. So when I do it, I usually tend to batch print and cut and then I just have them laying around so that I can use them whenever my heart desires or whatnot. Then I grabbed my pit pens here and I love these pens. They're India ink. They are permanent once dry, but this is the whole reason why I used the gesso, because you can paint, well, not paint, you can color, draw, whatever, and then you can smudge it. 
and uh, it just gives it's great for shading and such and uh, that's what I was doing here with this flower I wanted this flower to be uh, brighter so that like I said is why I used the clear gesso so that I could have that smudging effect because you I, you have to have some kind of base down in order to get that look um, then this piece here this uh, the, my blue matches fairly well but when I started smudging I didn't like what was happening so I just decided to give it more of a brighter pop by just coloring in these pieces and I was quite happy with the way that came out then I'm going to grab the gray pick pen and I was really quite happy with um, the border that I end up adding Obviously, at first, I have to journal, and I'm journaling with a Faber-Castell pit pen as well. It's the medium one. And now you can see me adding the border. And this is the final step for me for this art journal page, is the border and adding some highlights with my white uh, Uniball Signo pen. And that is pretty much it for this layout. I really, really hope that you enjoyed seeing my art journal process. I know not everybody did um, something like this. Many of the other ladies, I'm sure, did some scrapbooking. But I had two other scrapbooking layouts for challenge videos for uh, today. So I wanted to give you guys a little something different. And so you could see how quickly an art journal layout could come together. And that you really don't need a lot to create something that... Uh, just gets the creative juices flowing so i hope you were inspired and thank you so much for watching make sure that you hop along with the rest of the ladies bye